is up, Pokey Peeps and Masters? This is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back, back for the last few episodes of the Pokemon Day One Moon Nuzlocke. Um, it's been an exciting journey, and this is it. We, I grinded, I grinded up on screen, off screen, kind of thing. Like I recorded um, a significant amount of it, um, but it became once I started uh, grinding for the evolution item to evolve Frostbite. Like I got into like the three, three and a half hour period, and even at, um, even at like four times, eight times the speed, it was like I was li literally putting like six things of music, um, in like the grinding montage, and it just wouldn't have made a great you, you or it wouldn't have made a great video. It brought my views down. It just it wasn't worth it. So I did the grinding off considerably off screen, um, but to catch you up on the team, the last team we will have in this LP, because we only have How and the Elite Four left. So, we have Slim Jim coming in strong, level 55, rocking Sludge Bomb, Psy Shocks, Leaf Storm, and Draco Meteor. Uh, we have Polyrath coming in at level 57 with Scald, Brick Break, Thief. We're going to probably replace Thief. I forgot I had Thief on him to grind up for the Razor Claw and Body Slam. We have Snap, who is rocking Brick Break, Stone Edge, Payback, and uh, Play Rough. I might put... um. The electric move back on him because we don't have too much electric coverage. We have Frostbite level 56, um, Dark Pulse, Ice Shard, Brick Break, and Ice Beam holding the ICMZ. We have Willy Wooly with Stone Edge, Thunder Punch, Rock Tomb, and Double Edge. And then we have Nebby, 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 Nebby with our Moongeist Beam, Cosmic Powered, Night Days, and Shadow Ball. I'm surprised they didn't give him its own Z move. I'm actually really, really surprised. So let's, um, I forgot about the moves. So let's throw some moves back on these guys. I've spent literally all my money. I have three Poke Dollars left, if you can see in the bottom corner. Um, let us go with Wild Charge. We're going to put Wild Charge on Snap. We could put Wild Charge on What's It Called 2 and use that for the Electric MZ a bit better than Thunder Punch. Uh, maybe later. We'll see. And who else did I, I want? I wanted to put up something over Thief on. Who did I want to put on? Put Bulldoze. What did I want to put on Whirly? We could let's put Psychic on Whirly because we've been talking about it for so freaking long. Um, and every time I'm just like, oh man, wish I had Psychic. Wish I had Psychic. Wish I had Psychic. So we're actually gonna put Psychic on this thing, and we're gonna rock it out. So. This is going to be the last couple episodes. I, I honestly don't know how many episodes are going to be, going to be left. Depends on the battles. Um, it's going to be crazy. I've bought, like, literally sold everything but, like, a couple Pokeballs and, like, the items that are we're selling, like, the 50 items, the power up item things. Um, stuff like that. And we're going to go face Hal. So, who do we lead off with against Hal? He's psychic. He starts off with Raichu, who is psychic. Um, Psychic Electric. I feel like Frostbite... If Frostbite can outspeed... I don't want to lose Frostbite right away. We might lead with Nebby. We're going to lead with Nebby. Because I'd hate to lose anybody going into this Elite Four. I'd hate to lose anybody to how going into this Elite Four. But this is it. This is literally the beginning, the end, the everything it is. Um, Poke Russ, wait for me! No more team building, no more grinding, like, this is it. Whatever we walk into the Elite Four with is the last of it. So after we split up the Aether Paradise, I went and cleared the rest of my trials. Then, I even went back home to train with Lima a bit. I was just thinking that it was time to take on a Pokemon League. I heard from Gladian that you were already heading up here, Poke Russ, so I booked it up here as fast as I could. I was like the fastest I've ever moved in my life, you know? But, what? But that's not what I came up here to tell you, Poke Russ. I've decided that one of us is going to be the first to the Pokemon League. It's go you're going to need to be using your full force if you're going to beat me and my team when I'm serious about winning. So let us take on how for the last time in his Nuzlocke. So he's got his Raichu. Okay. 
Let's go for the Moongeist Beam. Or we could go for the Night Days. How strong is Night Days? E5, you know what? Let's go for the Night Days. Ah, uh, let's go for the Moongeist Beam. It's, it's dad, too. And it's his signature move. Right, you went for the Thunderbolt. Doesn't do much to Nebby at all. You actually having those legendary stats really helps us. Here's the Moongeist Beam. I really thought this Raichu was going to troll us. Not going to lie, because of how bad it trolled us uh, back in the beginning of... Ula Ula Island? Or... Yeah, Ula Ula Island. Okay, so next he has Incineroar. We're going to switch out, and we're going to go straight into... We could go into Willy Wooly, or we could go into Whirly. Let's go into Whirly because we do resist his dark moves. So this way we can hit him with either a water move or a dark move. We're probably going to hit him with a Z, uh... We're going to go straight for the Z water, I think. What Terium Z? What Terium Z? So, I've already started recording and, um... I haven't started editing yet. But I've already started recording the stuff for the next Nuzlocke on this channel. If you guys are hyped for it, don't forget to leave a like down below. It's going to be a soul link with my buddy. Um, he's been my buddy for a long time. I think you're going to really like it. We started recording a couple weeks ago, or er, we, this past week, and it's really freaking phenomenal. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Almost knocks him out. He goes for Earthquake. That's super interesting, because I didn't know he got Earthquake by level up. Um, we're going to go straight for the Scald here. There's no reason not to. We'll take out his Incineroar and his chance to use his Z-move. Luckily, he won't use his Z-move if we resist, which is really, really hype. Next is Komala. Um, we're going to stay in because Komala is a normal type. I love the theory that Komala is actually the uh, log. Because that's the part that gets shiny on it and all that kind of stuff. We're going to go straight for the Brick Break here. I might change up some of the Z items on my Pokemon, depending on which uh, Leaf Four member I'm facing. Like, Weavile can use his Ice One and his Dark One really nicely. Uh, we are going to switch out for his last Mon, which is Leafeon. It's that Leafeon he got... It's that Eevee he got all the way back on... Uh, me or not Melee, Melee. Um, Akala. Um, we're going to go straight into Frostbite. Let's show Frostbite some love. This is the first time showing off Frostbite on the channel. Exerting that pressure. Let's go straight for that Ice Beam. I wish I had a physical Ice move. We do have one Ice Shard, or we do have one Heart Scale, so we might go back and see if he can learn a Ice move from the... Because I, I remember he... Ooh. Take it, Frostbite. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to go straight for another Ice Beam here. And that should be the KO. There we go. So we took out Hal. Surprisingly, you've known how this Nuzlocke's gone, so... I'm about as surprised as you. We only got to level 58 there. Oh, I need to take off the experience share. So let me do that. Oh, you know what? You know what? This is it. We need all the help we can get. We're going to leave the experience share on for the rest of this. But it's so fru it's seriously frustrating, but it'll only make me stronger. You go and become the champion, because I'm going to train and become beat the champion, Pokeros. Good luck, cuz. And here... Give us three max revive, which means we can sell those to get some more healing items because we need them. And we also got some money from beating them. So let's go buy those. Let's go see if uh, well, there's a physical like maybe we can learn icicle crash. I don't know if that's a egg move or do you have anything better than an ice beam? Because not gonna lie, um, we've got a special attack is kind of butterscotch. First, we're going to do the selling here. We're going to sell these max revives here. Give us 6,000. That's 14. Nice. Okay. We're going to buy... 
We're gonna buy some more full restores. Let's buy four more of those to bring us up to an even 20. And then we'll, you, we'll buy one more Hyper Potion. And then we'll buy a Super Potion. And then two potions. Or, you know what? Uh, let us... How much are full restores? We'll buy one full restore. Or full heal. Because you never know when those will come in handy. So let's go over here. We've already used this, this lady a couple times. Like, that's how we learned Dark Pulse on our Weavile. <laughs> we got any good moves? We're looking for ice. We do not. Okay, let's see if we can use... Yes, we're going to give up. Yeah, give up. Let's check Whirly real quick, see if he can learn any better fighting moves. I know he can learn Dynamic Punch, but that's not really better. Um, yeah, let's check Whirly. Let's see what Whirly can learn. Circle throw, dynamic, nope, okay, cool. It, I mean, it'd be cool if we learned to, ah, uh, mind weird dynamic punch, we only have one. So, oh well. Okay, so let's heal up. I can't believe this is it, guys. I feel like this is this has been going on such a short time, but also forever. Like, if that makes any sense. I mean, the game came out, what, three months ago? Absolutely insane. And we're finally here. I, there was a bunch of times where I didn't think we were going to make it here. Like that one fight against Hao, or the fight against Lusamine. Absolutely insane. Take a Tauros. This is it. Hey there, Pokerus. Whew! It's been a long day. You've you've come a long way. You've made it through all the trials and the grand trials to make up the island challenge. Congratulations! I, I can't help but remember when you were first choosing your partner, yeah. Just one more thing left for you to do. Take on the Pokemon League. This is where the real fun starts. Hey now, looks like you've got the legendary Pokemon Lunala by your side. There's something I hope the legendary Pokemon knows. That there's always been a spot to finish up. There's always a spot where... We finished up the island challenges. We want, wanted you to put your Pokemon League right up here, as close as we could get to the moon, in respect and honor to you, Lunala. I still remember late like it was yesterday. I went all the way to the Indigo Plateau, yeah? Right where the Pokemon League headquarters was. I went right up there. I went right at them, cousin. Those gym leaders in Kanto really messed up my team and me up. And then I, then I saw my team battling through it all, pouring their hearts and souls into every move for me. And then, the last guy, the dragon user with a cape. Oh, sorry, that's enough about me. Let's, let's get you in there. But before we head in, make sure you're good and ready. You won't be able to come back out. This is it, guys. This is it. Um, we're gonna take on. Hmm. Who are we taking on first? I don't know. We'll get in there. And we'll decide. Cause I'm just gonna sure the professor's gonna have a little bit more to say to us. Yep. Gotta put the glasses back on. <clears throat> <laughs> four trainers. Every Pokemon League in every region of the world features four fantastic trainers called the Elite Four. Here in Alola, we've got four trainers lined up, all lined up for our Pokemon League. You'll have to win against every last one of them. 
You can't even leave until you do. Or until you give up. Lunala can sense when a trainer is nervous. Stay loose. You'll be fine. I expect you to show me some intense moves. Real heart-stopping battles in there. Good luck, Pokeros. Lunala. This is it. Let's do this. Okay. So I think we're going to take on... Let's take on the flying one first. We want to take on the flying one first? I think it's the one we're going to have the most trouble with. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll hold that one off. Let's go against the ghost one. I think feel like the ghost one... Let's go with the ghost one first. We're going to lead off with snap. Um... Obviously, I've played through the game once or twice since the beginning. Like, I actually started recording this series before I actually started my first game. So the first time we were experiencing stuff, we were experiencing the, together. Now now that it's been out three months, I've, I've played the games. Like, I know what they're going to work with. So it's 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 been a great growing experience. This is my third Nuzlocke on the channel. So let's see if we can make this one. Like, we have one loss, one win. Let's see if we can make it. Let's see if we can break break away from that win-loss ratio and get a big huge win. Nanu said he can't refuse the Tapu choosing him to serve as the Alan Kahuna, but he'd be darned if he was going to serve as the Elite Four just because some guy asked him. So, I guess I'll have a real tough battle to make up for him not being here. So in the original Lola Trials, they mentioned this earlier in the game, uh, the last fight, like their fake Elite Four that they had, was you had to face all fought four Kahunas in a gauntlet. It was kind of like an Elite Four challenge. So she starts off with Sableye. We're going to start off with Snap here. We're gonna go for the play rough. I think he goes for the, she goes to fake out. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how much a uh, play rough does. Uses a confuse ray. That's a bit frightening. Let's go for the Twinkle Tackle. When you Shadow Claw. Live this. Live it, Snap. Snap out of confusion. Here comes. Here's the Twinkle Tackle. Destroy this thing. So we're just a teeny bit, like, they start off at level 55. We're level 56, most of our Mons. I think all but Whirly. I think Whirly is level 57. Yes! Okay, they start off at level 54. And it was a crit. Okay, that was super nifty. Next is Frost Slash. Let's bring in our Frost Bite. I also kind of wish we had Night Slash. Uh, we're going to go straight for the Dark Pulse here. I probably sh should have brought the Z-Dark move here, but I mean, I obviously used, used my Z-Move. There's a Confuse Ray. She's just all about the Confusion today. Okay. Use Blizzard be avoided. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, break through confusion. Break through confusion, use a nice dark pulse. There we go. Finish off this frost loss. No! Okay. Come on. Live the blizzard. Live the blizzard. Live the blizzard. Oh, you lived that. We're gonna go straight for the ice shard. I think she's gonna heal. We'll go for the ice shard anyway. She used a full restore. That's kind of garbage there. Don't hit yourself in. Ah, you're garbage. Okay. We definitely need to heal up here. Um, 
Let's just break open one of our forward stores here. That will break us out of confusion, which is super nice. Went for Blizzard again, but we avoid because there's no snow up. I'm surprised she hasn't tried to set up the uh, hail, but maybe she doesn't have it. Okay, there's the Dark Pulse. Here comes the Confuse Ray again. Did we go for the Ice Shard now? Let's go for the Ice Shard now to make sure we pick up the KO. Mmm, we hit ourselves in confusion. There's her Ice Shard. We take that like an absolute champ. We're absolute, we're doing more to ourselves. Come on, break through. Come on, Frostbite. You're a well-trained Frostbite. There we go. And that will ensure us... There's a Shadow Ball. Okay. We take those. We outspeed. We go for the Dark Pulse here. Snap out of confusion. There's the Dark Pulse, and that will get to KO. Snap grew to level 57. Pretty aces. Next is Delmize. Um, let's switch out. Um, like I... <sighs> Love to stay in an ice set thing, or dark pulse it, but frostbite just a little too frail, and we can't we can't get hit by the steel move it has. So we're gonna go straight out into Nebby. Uh, we're gonna go for the moon. Do we go for the shadow ball or the moon? Uh, let's go for the shadow ball. Try to save our moon, moon Geist Beams if we need them. The Shadow Ball does an absolute ton. Here's the Shadow Ball from their end. That does a pretty good amount to us. I feel like she's going to heal. Um, I think the Moon Geist Beam will do more. How much does the Moon Geist Beam do? 100 base where Shadow Ball is, what, 80? Yeah. So we're going to go for the Moon Geist Beam, assuming she's going to heal up. There's the second full restore. So the Moon Guys Beam should pick it up with 20 power. That should should do at least 20%, maybe. I don't know. Here it comes. Moon Geist Beam. Oh, it hung on. Um, let's go for the Night Days. Okay. That will pick up the KO on the Delmize. So one of our last Pokemon here... She has one more, I believe? Oh, no, she has Palosan. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna stay in. Is this her last, or does she have one more after this? She has, she has one more after this. Okay. Let's go for the... Let's go for the Moongeist again. I do have a couple Ethers and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. I didn't sell those, because I knew I might need those. Destroy that Palosan. So when we know in VGC we can't take a Moon Geist Beam from a Nebby. Willy Wooly is level 57. Next is the Drift Loom. So we do got to watch out for this Drift Loom just a bit because it does have the ability Aftermath. Um, but we should be able to kill at this range. We're gonna go straight for the Moon Geist Beam. Let's see how much damage we can do. Um. If it, if it delivers it, we have to heal 100%, because it's going to damage us, and we just don't want to be taken about by the, by the Aftermath. That would be not the best way to lose our... There's Ominous Wind. Okay. Oh! Ooh! That hit like a freaking truck! We know we outspeed. How much does Aftermath do? So there's a full restore. Luckily, he didn't get the boost. So here's the ominous, ominous wind. Hopefully he doesn't get the boost again. No boost. Good. Good, 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 good. We're put back into the position where the Shadow Ball gets us the game. How much does the Aftermath do? One-fourth of the maximum HP. Okay. Nebby will grow to level 57 here. Does this thing not have the aftermath? 
Interesting. Maybe aftermath. Maybe aftermath won't activate if it's the last Pokemon. Or maybe I'm thinking about her second second team that has a Pokemon with after aftermath on. I might be thinking that. So there's one down. Let's see if we can crush out one more. These episodes might be a teeny bit longer. Uh, bag. Let's heal everybody up. So these these episodes are probably gonna be a teeny bit longer. Um, let's use up all our weak, weaker potions first. Use a little potion here to finish off Nebby. Okay. So I think next we're going to go in against... Let's go in against uh, the flying type. Um, who do we lead off with? We're gonna lead off with work. I think we're gonna lead off with Nebby here, uh, because I know what she starts off with. I kind of like I don't have anything good against it. She starts off with a Skarmory. So th this girl doesn't really have that much of a backstory. Um, I feel like I just threw her in and I didn't like it. She's not definitely, and I thought she was also a lot older than she was. Um, I guess she's only like she's about twenty. She's only a bit older than us, uh, by, 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 by like eight years or something. I don't know, fourteen, six years. I don't know. So, yeah, her backstory was kind of just. Hi, I am Kahali. A few years ago, I was the champion of the island challenges, just like you. I've been traveling the world to improve my skills as both a trainer and a golfer. And also, why is she a golfer? Nobody. She's a golfer. She was flying. That is so dumb. She should have been grass type. Anyway. I heard the League was making a Pokemon League in my very own home region. I came flying back to serve Alola. I have... I have... Have a look at my fantastic flying type team. So we're taking on our second Elite Four member. Here's Nebby. Nebby, Nebby, Nebby. So this thing's gonna set up spikes and all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, see how much Shadow Ball does to it. Does a lot more than I expected, which is good. Uh, and it left it in yellows, which means she's probably not gonna full restore. So we might actually get a two-hit KO off here, which is really, 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 really nice. Yeah. So that's like one of the biggest threats on her entire team, because like I just like Scrammy's typing is just really weird. Like it has obvious, it does have weaknesses. I don't have a fire type on my team, or that'd be super nice. The next is gonna be that Manda Buzz. We are gonna switch out. Um, we're gonna go into Willy Wooly here. Willy Wooly should be able to blow back the rest of her team pretty nicely, but we'll see. This Manda Buzz, I believe, has foul play, which can be a bit of an issue, uh, seeing how high. Um, our Willy Woolies attacks are. Um, should we go straight for the Stone Edge? Or should we go for the Thunder? Let's go for the Stone Edge. I know it's going to take more than one hit to take this guy out. So there's a Flatter. It's going to raise our special attack and confuse us. We go for the Stone Edge. We land it. Bring the Mandibuzz into the Yellows, which is absolutely perfect, because uh, I think a Thunder Punch or a Stone Edge should be able to pick it up from here. Or, uh, Rock Tomb. Let's go for the Thunder Punch because it has more attack. Um, there's a Bone Rush. That's going to do an absolute butt turned off. I didn't even know it had Bone Rush. Oh my god, that, that makes sense. Hit two times. Come on, break through Confusion. Break through Confusion. There's the Thunder Punch. And we take out the Mandibuzz. Okay.
Next is two cannon. Okay. Um, here's two cannon. We're gonna... S we're not gonna stand. We're gonna switch. Um... Because two cannon does have the bullet seed. We do have the wild charge on... I mean, we do have the stone edge on snap, so we're gonna switch into snap. So I think the goal here is we're gonna take on... We took on these two Elite Four members, in the next episode we're gonna take on two more, and then we're gonna save the last... The, the Elite... The Elite Four Champion, and the Aftermath for the last episode. We're probably gonna end this up on Monday. We're gonna go for the Stone Edge here. It's gonna go for uh, Beak Break. But we don't make contact with Stone Edge, I don't think. There's Beak Blast, okay. If we had made contact with it during that period, ooh, ooh. Let's heal up here. Uh, we'll crack another full, full restore open. Um, if it keeps going for Beak Blast, we should be able to outspeed it. Oh, it's going to go for its flying Z-move. Oh no, we're going to lose Snap. Don't tell me we're going to lose Snap. We need Snap. We lost Snap. Okay. Let's go into Nebby. I hate being Nebby being our fallback mon, but... Oh my gentle Jesus. And the worst part is I can only hit this thing with a Night Daze. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna do that. We're gonna night days. I feel like they gave night days the old dark pulse uh, animation. I love the new one. Jim's fifty seven. She's gonna send out Crobat last. We don't have to worry about Z move, which is really nice. Um. We're gonna go into Willy Wooly here. We're probably gonna we're gonna heal up. We're gonna take some spike damage. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna we have enough to pop a hyper potion. Yeah. There's the Swift. We take that like a champ, and that's the best thing she, it's got to hit us with. Um, it's catching a big Thunder Punch here. Or, I'm sorry, a big Gigavolt Havoc. There's a Supersonic, and it lands it. Supersonic, such an inaccurate move. And it gets a Confuse Ray. I don't even know why you wouldn't have Confuse Ray on it. That's so crazy. And we hit ourselves with Confusion. Okay. Well, let's try again. Gigavolt Havoc. There's a Swift. Good, good, good. Come on, you're a well-trained golem. There it is! There it is! I feel like whenever I get hyped like that, you ever watch the old Yu-Gi-Oh! series, where, like, Joey's, Joey's jaw gets really, like, defined, or, like, when one punch man gets his well-defined chin, like, that's the moment. That's the moment you're, you know, you know it's serious. You know it is freaking serious. Blow back that crowbat. She got one more? She got one more for us? She got an an Oricorio. We're gonna stay in. It's the fire Oricorio, which is absolutely beautiful because I know I can take that out with a rock tomb. And this will be game over. There's Revelation Dance. It's a fire type move. We resist that. Break through the confusion. Yeah! There's a Rock Tomb, four times super effective, stab! There goes the Oricorio. I'm sorry, Oricorio, I absolutely love you, I love your shiny form. I've caught a shiny Oricorio. And that is it. 
So we defeated two of the four elite member war members. You know, it brings a breath of fresh air to the Alola battle scene. I was honestly annoyed when Kukui kept pestering me to come here, but I'm glad I did. So we are short one Mon, sadly. Sadly, Snap has taken a Dirk nap. Let's heal up our squad, and then we'll end today's episode, guys. If you guys are hyped for the series finale coming up... Oh, I'm so freaking excited. This is why we got the potions. I mean, they're just having so much HP. Okay. Cool. So that is where we're going to end today's episode. If you guys are hyped for the series finale of this series coming to a close here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're excited for the Soul Link coming next season. Next season, uh, we'll see where we are. I'll let you guys know on the season finale when that series will start. I will see you guys in the next episode. Pokerus out. Bye.